Hello and welcome to another Looney Tunes review video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to follow my journey to review all 1000 classic Looney Tunes shorts and give this video a like as well. So this is a review for Holiday for Drumsticks and with me today is my fellow drumstick, Manny Cruz. Say hi. Happy Thanksgiving in late January. Yeah, when we record this, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so just a few bits of info here. So this is, of course, Holiday for Drumsticks, released on the 22nd of January, 1949. It's the 546th in the series, and it's directed by Art Davis. It's currently unrestored, although the print I'm using here is actually not too bad, but still, yeah, I hope all the Art Davis shorts do eventually get restored, regardless of whether they're great shorts or not. So, Manny... What's this short all about? Alrighty. A hillbilly brings home a turkey to fatten him up for Thanksgiving. Daffy, however, is jealous of the amount of food the turkey is getting, so Daffy convinces the turkey to lose weight so he won't get eaten. Daffy can have all the food he wants. And if you can imagine, this little black duck is going to be a Thanksgiving meal and doesn't want that to happen. Two bits of trivia, just to start things off. First of all, that quick hide over here gag, you, you it might might seem familiar. Weirdly enough, it was actually used in another Thanksgiving theme short, uh, which I think is a better short personally, but that's another thing entirely. Called Tom Turk and Daffy. No, no, not here. <laughs> And it was also used in Racketeer Rabbit. And it's a great gag, but it was, it's definitely uh, reused from those shorts. But as for the hillbillies, which we'll talk about in a sec, but they appear to be modeled after Ma and Pa Kettle, who were in a series of films pretty much starting around this time. So that's what they seem to be. Now, if I am wrong about that, please let me know, but that's what I believe they're modeled after. So, for this short, it's one of those shorts where I, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I don't think it lives up to its full potential. I mean, what do you think? You nailed it. I saw this cartoon as a kid, and I haven't seen it in a long time. I was actually, what I've been doing, especially since COVID has happened, I have friends and we watch cartoons on Zoom, usually non-Looney Tune nerds, unlike ourselves. And I was planning on doing a theme for Thanksgiving, and timing didn't work out. And I threw Holiday for Drumsticks on the list. But I was like, you know, what? I haven't seen this short in a while. And I didn't see it for Thanksgiving, but I saw it today. And I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, I think this was funnier when I saw it as a kid on Nickelodeon. And I did see it, you know, on Cartoon Network years ago. But it's like, yeah, there's it's kind of like wasted potential. And you mentioned Tom Turk and Daffy. I'll just say it now. Tom Turk and Daffy is like one of my absolute favorite Looney Tunes shorts ever made. I think it's hilarious. I could watch a short any time of the year. It doesn't matter. Whereas this one, it was giving me like a meh feeling. There's good moments, but yeah, there's definitely some. And it sucks because it's like I'm thinking Art Davis's run is about to end. And I'm like, this is kind of a whimper near the end of his filmography. Yeah, exactly right. Now, as, but as you said, there are, there are some good things in it, you know, and I don't like being totally negative about these things because, you know, if I was on Desert Island and this was the only cartoon being showed, well, I certainly wouldn't complain because there is some good things in it. I mean, first of all, you got to love the hillbillies and their casual shooting. Like, the, the way that the, this cartoon makes it out, it's like, I'm pretty sure actual people living, you know, way out, way out in the U.S., don't just casually use their guns for everyday things inside the home. <laughs> Blurper! Coffee's poured! Yeah, the coffee <laughs> gag was funny. And not, and not to mention Mel Blake. I mean, come on, because he, he does all the voices here, and, and I just love Oh, his, it's amazing. <laughs> how he does all these different types of uh, hillbilly voices is incredible. Even Ma, the Ma hillbilly. I love oh, what yeah, he does. I, I like the Ma voice. So, I mean, like, the, the Pa voice is hilarious. I've heard it before, but just him doing Ma's voice, it's like, oh, 
this this the, the guy can never be replaced <laughs> exactly and one great punchline is that uh, the faces always look very sour but then once you get to the point where Daffy's uh, all fattened up and the hillbilly realizes it and he just has a big smile appear that yeah. was fantastic <laughs> a mess. too bad he ain't healthy like me here, look at this wing. Did you ever see a wing like that on a duck before? Yes, sir. I'm all fat, tender duck. Now take this drumstick, for instance. Ain't that a beauty? Yeah, but it's a shame you can't eat duck on Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, I thought that was a beautiful moment. I mean, I mean, you said to me that they used it in some sort of commercial or something back in the day. Yes, uh, so as I said before, I saw this short years ago on Nick, uh, Looney Tunes on Nickelodeon, as I've said many a times. Anthony and I are close in age, so I remember seeing this one. So 21. On back then. Oh, yes, we're both 21 years. Well, I'm 19, he's 21. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember one of the commercials for Looney Tunes on Nick, and that grin from the hillbilly is in one of those commercials. And yeah, like the rest of the cartoon, they're dour looking and like... They look like they're half asleep, but that shot is definitely really funny. And even though this is not another, you know, that's the only time the hillbilly reacts. But I also do love the scene when uh, when Daffy is walking towards the quote unquote ship to Rio de Janeiro, which means River of January in Portuguese, if I remember. But anyway, my, one of my best friends is from Brazil. And I do like the little snippet of a rainy night in Rio playing in the background. Thank you, Carl Stalling. But it's just I love the hillbillies dress up there or like they're doing like a uh, salute and they're like sailors, if I remember correctly. But just like that shot right there of them saluting Daffy as he's going on the ship as sailors. That was another part that cracked me up. Yeah, it, it's really, really good. But it does kind of end weirdly, doesn't it? With uh, Daffy blowing out the, the matches. It's just it's, it's, it, a, it's a little weird, but it's compared to the last cartoon that we talked about. It's a. It's a better ending gag. It's not the strongest, but it's definitely funnier. Of course. Now, before we mention that this cartoon doesn't seem to live up to its full potential, I mean, I love the idea of a turkey being convinced to lose weight. And of course, Daffy's gaining weight because he's eating all the food meant for the turkey. See, what I probably would have done, because I think the third act is where it pretty much falls apart for me for the most part. And again, this is my opinion. If you beg to differ, please let me know. I would have probably made it that the turkey, instead of becoming thin, he becomes really buff and strong. So you could have the hillbilly chasing after the fat Daffy, who's, of course, fat, being fattened up for a meal, but then the turkey can go after the hillbilly because he finds out, hey, you were trying to fat me up to kill me, weren't you? So, But again, that's just my opinion. You may beg to differ, but I think that, that yeah, they could have done something a little bit more with it. I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, if the cartoon was made you know more recently you're saying that you know the the turkey will get more uh buffed up i mean hey look at all the especially here in the united states all the chicken and poultry and beef that has like antibiotics and steroids and g growth hormones god knows what are in this food so i think it would have made more sense <laughs> in the past 20 30 years with all the stuff they put in our you know how chickens are so big and fat now it's like hey just look at the modern pole, uh, meat industry. I know it's your favorite sport now, but baseball. And they were talking about, you know, the new induction to the Baseball Hall of Fame. And we, we're still dealing with the sins of the steroid era in baseball. You know, some players are in the Hall of Fame, some are not. And that whole controversy. And how I tied that into a turkey being buff and steroid. I went to the gym earlier today. And no, I didn't take steroids, but I got my butt kicked in the gym. So, yeah, there was a point somewhere you know, we'll, we'll fix it in post. Now I want turkey. Actually, I did have turkey for dinner. I had turkey tacos. All, there all you I, go. There was a point. <laughs> all, all I know, all I know is that uh, with, with the mention of baseball, is that I want to go back and watch baseball bugs rather than this short. I'm giving yes. this one a six. I'm giving this one a six out of ten. It had you know those few little bits in there that made me laugh, sort of brought it at, 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 a, at a slightly higher score. I love the animation. I mean, Art Davis is yeah. cool do good, great animation even if it falls flat what would you give this one out of 10 before the rating just now you mentioned animation i do like the shot of daffy walking when he's introducing the short love the animation there as for the score you you stole my scores i had the same exact one six out of ten i thought it would be better but i was like meh wasted potential 
Yeah, exactly right. So, you know, and I'm stealing scores instead of stealing bases. So, you know, I'll try to put another, ah, base, put another baseball. Ah, very good. There we go. See, it's another baseball reference. But we'll wrap this one up here because, again, let us know if you think we're maybe too harsh on this one. I mean, I'm sure there's a fan of this short out there. Let me know why um, you, you think we're being a bit harsh. Do you think my idea is a better one or not? Anyway, let, let's have a great discussion on it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, take care. This cartoon was a real turkey. Ha! Huh. Come on! No, and it don't look like it ever will be. I keep a lighting the matches and he keeps blowing them out. <laughs>